The RealX STT knotless anchor is designed to provide precise control over knotless rotator cuff repair. Combined with a peak zip anchor and RP360 degree suture passer, Striker Joint Preservation offers a quick and simple technique for completing knotless rotator cuff repair. The inserter of the peak zip anchor features a sharp trocar tip for easier insertion. In addition, the peak zip has separate suture eyelets at the proximal end of the anchor, which offer a wider repair footprint for maximizing repair strength and easy suture management. The fully cannulated unobstructed design of Stryker's peak zip anchor provides a channel for blood and bone marrow elements from within the proximal humerus to the tendon bone healing site, which may potentially enhance tendon bone healing. The RealX STT features a 5.5 mm peak body with an implant grade stainless steel inner mechanism. The RealX STT is self-tapping. When loaded with suture and then tensioned, the 5.5 mm body is designed to expand up to 6.5 mm. Every full turn of the tensioning mechanism pulls in approximately 10 mm of suture. If desired, additional tension may be applied to the suture by re-engaging the inserter shaft. As the RealX STT has six individual locking points, one every 60 degrees. This allows for incremental suture tensioning. Rotator cuff repair is one of a variety of suitable uses for the RealX STT knotless anchor. Two Stryker 5.5 mm peak zip anchors are inserted into the anterior medial and posterior medial positions. Using the suture grasper, remove one strand of force fiber high strength suture from each of the anchors. So one strand of white and one strand of blue co-braid remains. Load one tail blue co-braid strand of force fiber from the anterior medial anchor into the RP360 degree suture passer and pass through the rotator cuff. The lower jaw of the RP360 degree is serrated and therefore allows for usage as a suture grasper as well. Repeat technique for second tail of blue co-braid suture. Pull the past tails through the appropriate cannula. Follow the same technique for the white suture of the posterior medial anchor. The RealX STT can be loaded with up to two strands of number two force fiber. Using the suture threader, two tails of the blue co-braid force fiber from the anterior medial anchor are loaded through the body of the RealX STT. It's recommended to pull back close to the length of the metal inserter shaft. Once the suture is loaded, the anchor should be aligned so that the vertical laser line on the metal shaft is facing the repair. While slight tension is maintained, the RealX STT is slid into the joint to the desired insertion site. Excess slack is removed by gently pulling on the suture tails, and repair sutures should have approximately the same amount of slack, keeping in mind a maximum of approximately 30 millimeters of suture lengths can be tensioned into the anchor body. Using a mallet, the proximal end of the inserter handle is malleted to drive the anchor into the bone. When the proximal end of the anchor is flush with the cortical surface, or the distal end of the first laser line is flush with the bone, the desired insertion depth has been reached. The second laser line is approximately 5 mm above the first and serves as a reference in case a direct view of the insertion site is obstructed by tissue or other elements. Instrumentation is also available to create a starter hole in hard bone, if so desired. The white tether suture is released from the notch at the end of the inserter handle. By rotating the black knob clockwise, excess suture is spooled into the body of the anchor, thereby increasing the tension on the suture and approximating the repair. A maximum of three complete revolutions can be made, each containing six locking points, one every 60 degrees. A maximum of approximately 30 millimeters of suture lengths can be tensioned and wound inside the anchor body. Once the desired tension is achieved, 
The inserter shaft is removed from the implant and the tether suture is pulled through the anchor and discarded. Using the stitch blade suture cutter, the excess suture is removed. 